I would like to share part of my experience of uh, benchmarking on different ARM processors, including A64 FAX uh, and the Okami cluster. Uh, Calisto is the application we choose for the benchmarking. Uh, it's a genomics application and uh, it's open source application that developed by Pachter Lab uh, at the Berkeley University. We also uh, run a tiny uh, membench that is a, a memory micro benchmark to measure the latency of random memory access. Uh, we benchmark Calisto and uh, Tiny membench uh, on a uh, different ARM processor, including Thunder X2, comparing non 120 and high silicon 1616 that uh, are part of cluster at JSD, besides uh, 864 FAX on the Okami and uh, Skylake uh, on the Okami cluster. This is slide uh, present uh, the performance critical uh, kernels of uh, uh, Calisto in the call graph of the program. Uh, the performance critical uh, kernels of Calisto uh, mostly belongs uh, to kernels that interact with uh, I.O. and uh, memory subsystem. We did different analysis uh, for uh, I.O. kernels, uh, but uh, in this presentation, uh, we just focus on uh, memory performance criti critical uh, kernels. Uh, the memory performance critical kernels uh, bring us to a performance critical loop uh, that belongs to the hash table lookup process in the program. Uh, we modified the hash table to reduce the number of collision in the hash table. Here you can uh, see the uh, performance critical uh, loop of Callisto that uh, has uh, 535 million iterations for our test case. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, uh, the most operation is done uh, by the loop is uh, loading from uh, memory. And the memory access pattern uh, here is uh, roughly random access. This plot uh, shows the Callisto execution time on uh, different uh, processors uh, that I already mentioned uh, over different number of tests. Uh, as you can see, the uh, slowest execution time belongs to A64 FAX uh, processor, and uh, the smallest execution time uh, belongs to a Sky uh, Lake processor. And uh, here we use uh, a Geno compiler with uh, the flag you can uh, see here. Um, this table also uh, shows the time taken by the performance critical uh, loop uh, for uh, one third and 32 thirds uh, on uh, the mentioned processor. Uh, again, uh, A60. If four FAX uh, shows the highest uh, uh, time uh, for uh, the loop, uh, uh, but if we look at the parallel efficiency as the ratio of uh, speed up uh, to the number of the we use, uh, you can see in this table that A64 FAX uh, uh, shows the highest uh, uh, parallel efficiency uh, rather uh, to the other processor like uh, Skylet. Uh, since the um, uh, since uh, the main operation of the performance critical uh, loop uh, is loading from memory, uh, we try to take the time per each iteration. And uh, in this table, uh, we could see the time uh, is taken uh, for each iteration in a nanosecond. Uh, here uh, again, A64 FAX shows uh, uh, the highest uh, time in nanosecond. Uh, and uh, I already mentioned that the memory access pattern of uh, Callisto is random. Uh, so to uh, validate our observation, we use the time and benchmark that uh, uh, usually used uh, for uh, 
measure the latency of uh, random uh, memory access. And uh, we make a compare between the single thread uh, latency that we uh, reported on the previous table uh, with uh, uh, the values uh, uh, we took from tiny bank. As you can see, the uh, results for uh, different uh, processor are uh, mostly consistent and uh, Again, A64 FAX shows uh, the uh, highest uh, latency for uh, both time image main benchmark and the uh, uh, single telegram of a uh, Calypso. Uh, and uh, we know that the optimized algorithm try to reduce the random uh, memory access in the program, but for a uh, table lookup. Uh, application like Calisto, uh, we have uh, random access to memory. And uh, in this slide, we also uh, make a compare of uh, execution time of a uh, Calisto on uh, Okami and Fugako. We already had the chance of uh, running uh, Calisto on Fugako. However, uh, this uh, uh, plot uh, um, shows the result for the original hash table of Calisto that we didn't modify that time, uh, but we use different compiler uh, like uh, Geno, um, Clang, and FCC. As you can see for both the uh, server, uh, GCC and ARM Clang shows more consistent uh, result uh, uh, than uh, FCC and the execution time uh, that we uh, got for uh, running on uh, Fujako is uh, smaller than Okami. That's one of the leading factors for uh, this difference uh, is the CPU frequency because uh, Okami is uh, running on uh, 1.8 gigahertz uh, and uh, uh, Fugaku is running on uh, 2.2 gigahertz. And as a summary, we observe uh, the largest CPI on uh, A64 FAX uh, Calisto hash table lookup performance uh, uh, has inverse uh, correlation with the memory access latency as uh, we measured uh, with tiny men men benchmark uh, and uh, the uh, time to solution uh, is the lowest uh, for single thread when we use a Skylake processor. And uh, in overall, uh, the shortest time as solution uh, is uh, belonging is belonging to Thunder X2 uh, that also shows uh, one of the uh, highest parallel efficiency uh, for uh, our benchmarking. Thank you very much. If uh, there is any question, I will be happy to answer it. Great. Thanks a lot for the presentation, Fatme. Um, any questions? This is, I guess, a bit more of a comment than a question, though it might turn into a question. So the, the, I, I really like this application because it, it sort of uh, uh, shows off A64 effects at its very worst, almost. I mean, it, it's uh, what you're exposing is um, it has a very large cache line, a 256 uh, byte cache line. So uh, for every piece of data, it's got to do a lot more work to move it. And the instruction latency, is very high. A lot of instructions might have, you know, a nine or more cycle latency, uh, and so you're seeing uh, in the performance where it's a factor of two or three slower uh, for a single thread. Uh, uh, you're really you're really exposing those weaknesses of the architecture, and you, you're also showing off. Thunder X2, I think it is very best. That's my, that's actually my favorite machine right now. That should be it should be A64X, but what, what I've discovered is actually I really like Thunder X2. It, uh, it's my favorite machine to develop on at the moment. Um, and then um, did you see, you, you saw at the end uh, on the last slide, I think when you were showing the Fugaku results that you showed that the ARM client compiler was doing much, much better. Do, do you know what it was doing? Uh, I'm telling. Yes. I mean, uh, what, actually, 
actually uh, I have no idea for that, but uh, what I can say, we try a different uh, uh, flag for uh, uh, for this to compiler like nclang and uh, what we reported here is with nclang for uh, for uh, for um, compiler. But for Ankerang and GCC, no, I don't have an uh, idea that why they uh, showed a better result than uh, FCC. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Anybody else? Well, the runtime differences you, you see between Okami and Fugaku, did you track the ratio is probably the same as this 2.2 uh, over 1.8 or are there any surprises? Actually, I checked with uh, puppy counter, uh, total select cycle of puppy counter, and then uh, I divided total uh, select of puppy counter uh, with the, uh, uh, the CPU frequency, I reached the uh, this time, so I guess the uh, one of the uh, most leading factor uh, is uh, the CPU frequencies. Yeah. However, uh, the distribution uh, memory between NUMA node also has some effect because when I uh, was running uh, Callisto on Fujako, I always uh, get the uh, same uh, execution time. Uh, but uh, on the Okami, sometimes uh, uh, I uh, see, so I saw some uh, difference between the execution time. And when we look at that, uh, I realized that uh, the uh, memory distribution that's used by Callisto uh, placed in a different NUMA domain than the main thread of the Callisto is. Uh, located. So I think uh, some uh, operating uh, system issue also has uh, mm, mm, effect here. Mm -hmm. uh, when you saw performance differences, we, we had a while where we had some issues with, with processes running on nodes. It could also be related to that. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe. Just in yeah. case. I, I think so. Okay, thanks a lot, Fatme. This was really interesting. <laughs>